Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, I will show you 9 essential shortcuts that will save you a lot of time while you work in Illustrator. I'm Kent and this is Diagraphics. So shortcut number one is copy and paste in front or in the back of the original shape. So now I have a circle and I want a copy of this circle on top of the original. So what you want to do is select the circle, click Ctrl C to copy and instead of clicking Ctrl V as you normally would, you can click Ctrl F to paste in front. This means I now have a copy on top of the original, as you can see right here. This is useful for a lot of things, but for instance, if you want an exact copy of the shape inside the original shape. You can also click Ctrl B to paste a copy in the back of the original. This is also very useful. For instance, if you want the original shape to be inside another shape, if you instead paste it in front, the copy would cover the original shape. So tip number two is a quick way to undo and redo steps. So if I draw a shape and I make a mistake that I want to undo, I can quickly undo steps one step at a time by clicking Ctrl Z or Command Z on Mac. You can keep doing this. And if I regret, I can easily redo the steps by clicking Ctrl Shift Z or Command Shift Z on Mac. So tip number three is keep proportions with the shift key. So let's say I want to scale this shape, but I want to keep the proportions. You can do this by simply holding down the shift key while you scale the shape. This is also used for drawing circles and squares in the first place. Hold down the shift key while drawing and now you'll draw a complete circle. So tip number four is scaling or drawing from the middle and out. So if we select the shape and we scale this shape normally, the shape will only expand to one side. If we instead hold down the Alt key or the Option key on Mac, the shape will scale from the middle and out. And a quick bonus tip is that you can combine this with the Shift key to also keep the proportions. You can also use this tip while drawing the shapes in the first place. So tip number five is selecting shapes underneath other shapes. So here I have a circle on top of a rectangle. So maybe you have an illustration where you can't move the shape that covers up another shape. So what you want to do is just hold down Ctrl or Command on Mac and click where the underlying shape is until you select it. From here you can move the shape. So tip number six is move freely across the canvas while you work. So let's say I want to draw a shape and now I want the next anchor point to be outside the screen. So instead of moving the sliders down here, and draw another point. You can simply just hold down the space bar and move as freely as you like. So tip number seven is move objects in a straight line, horizontal, vertical or diagonal. So if you want to move objects in a straight line, it's not always easy to rely on the guides. What you want to do instead is hold down the shift key while you move the objects. This will snap the objects to a vertical, a horizontal, and a diagonal line. So tip number eight is a quick way to duplicate objects. So if you want to duplicate an object, instead of copy and pasting, you can simply just select the object, hold down the Alt key to get this double mouse icon and click and drag. Now you have a quick copy of the original. Tip number nine is duplicate previous step. So let's say I made a copy of this shape. Instead of duplicating this circle and trying to do the exact same steps, you can simply just click Ctrl D or Command D on Mac to duplicate the last step. You can keep doing this. 